Hi everybody, this is Morgan Redfield from HamShield, and today I'm going to show you how to get started using your HamShield with an Arduino. The first step is to install the Arduino software. So open up your favorite uh, web browser and navigate to arduino.cc. This is the Arduino website. It has tons of information on using and programming Arduinos, so you might want to explore this later. But for now, we're just going to download the Arduino software that allows us to program the Arduino itself. There's a button here in the upper left for downloading it. So click that button and it'll allow you to select whatever operating system you're using. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to choose that one. But if you're using OS X or Linux, choose whatever is best for you. I'm going to go ahead and run through this process of downloading it. And uh, I love Arduino, but I'm not going to donate just now. Instead, I'll just download the software. Now, this is going to take a few minutes to download. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to open up a new tab, and I'm going to go to github.com slash enhanced radio devices slash hamshield. Now, uh, this GitHub repo is where the hamshield library is stored. Now, we'll update this repo as changes are made, but it's pretty stable now. If you're familiar with Git, you can go ahead and clone this repo and then pull whatever changes there are. But uh, I'm going to just show you how to use the zip file option. On the lower right, there's a button to download a zip file. Click that button, and it'll start downloading a zip file that has the Hamshield library in it. Now, once the, uh, once the downloads are done, you want to go ahead and open up the download folder. And you can see here that we have the Arduino installer and the Hamshield zip file. I'm going to go ahead and install Arduino first. And this install process is very similar to every install process that you've done in the past. There's nothing surprising here. Just mm -hmm. go ahead and do all of the standard things, install the software. The uh, one thing that might be a little tricky at the very end of this install process is that the Arduino will try and install some USB drivers so that it can actually talk to the Arduino device over USB. If you have uh, a Mac or something like that, those libraries, those drivers might already be installed. But if you're using Windows, it'll probably ask you to install that. So later on, we're probably going to get a little pop-up that says, hey, install this uh, USB driver. Now, while we're waiting for this to finish installing, I'm going to come back here to my downloads folder, and I'm going to take a look at this HamShield zip file. If I open it up, I'll see all of these. Oh, here we go. This is the USB driver installation, and I'm just going to hit install here. And it'll take a little while in order for it to finish installing that USB driver. Now, as I mentioned, these are all of the HamShield library files. We need the Arduino software to be able to find these files so that you can compile a HamShield project. And uh, these files need to be in a certain location on your hard drive in order for Arduino to find them. So that's what's going to be our next step. Once the Arduino setup is completed, you can go ahead and close it and open the Arduino software. Now, it'll give you a little warning here. That warning says the sketchbook folder doesn't exist, so it's going to switch to a default sketchbook location and create a new folder if necessary. And uh, that is exactly what we want to have happen here. What that's done is if I open up a new Explorer window here, and go to the Documents folder, you'll see that I now have an Arduino folder right there. That Arduino folder is exactly what I wanted it to create. So I can open that up, and you'll see that it even has a little Libraries folder right there. This Libraries folder is where we're going to put all of the HamShield libraries. So I'll open that up one more time, and now I have to create a new folder that's going to store my HamShield uh, files. So I'll create a new folder, and I'll call it HamShield. And capitalization is important here, so be sure it's capital H, capital S, HamShield. I'll open up that folder, 
and then I will copy all of these files from the HamShield directory straight into this new directory that I've just made. Okay, now in Arduino, Arduino doesn't know about that yet because I haven't actually started Arduino with, uh, uh, with that, those files in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to close Arduino completely and then reopen it. And now, since all of these HamShield files are already in that folder as Arduino opens, it knows about those files now. So if I go up here to File, and if I go to Examples, you'll see at the very bottom there are a list of HamShield examples. And I'm going to recommend that you start off with the Handy Talkie example. That's a really good one. Um, and uh, now you can explore the different examples and get going with using the ham shield for your Arduino. All right, I hope you found this helpful and stay tuned for our next set of videos where we actually show you how to use this library.